The Kyoperico Heist is the best money making method in GTA Online and in this video I'll be going over everything that you need to know about it. This is the ultimate guide to the Kyoperico Heist in 2023. This guide will skip over the introduction of the heist and instead dive right into the key facts and tips that you need to know to successfully earn millions using this guide. So let's get into the most crucial part of the heist, setting it up. The first setup mission you need to complete is gather intel. There are four things that you need to scout out when completing this mission. First is the secondary targets. When you first get onto the island during the gather intel mission, you will spawn on the airstrip. Here is where you need to scope out the secondary targets for the finale of the heist. Go into this hangar and then take a quick pick of the loot inside of this section here and then send it over to Pavel. Then get into this forklift and use it to lift up this box over here. Use this forklift to rise the box over this wall and then it may take a little practice but you can get it done fairly quickly. Hop out of the forklift and then jump up onto the box to get over the fence and scope out the next set of secondary loot. The value of each secondary target goes as followed. Coke gets you a value of $220,000 and fills up 50% of your loot bag. The green stuff has a value of $147,000 and takes up 33% of your loot bag. And cash has a value of $85,000 taking up 25% of your loot bag. So do not worry, any of the above secondary loot can be found at this location, allowing you to very easily fill up your loot bag for the elite challenge bonus. Next, go over to this hut over in the corner of the airstrip and take a snap of the loot inside of here. After that, all the secondary targets needed for the finale have been obtained. Next is the primary target. Get onto this bike parked over here and then turn to the right into the overgrown field area and then follow the path that I take. Once you make it to this section, accelerate your bike and then pop a wheelie for extra speed and this should send you high enough in the air to land just close enough to the barrier near this road. Now just follow the trees towards this watchtower. And once again, accelerate and wheelie the bike to launch yourself over this hill and across to the other side of the watchtower. Wait for the vehicles to pass below on the road and make a break for it, staying out of any cones of visions and then when you get towards this camera, ride behind it and continue following this path towards the control tower. Once you get here, get off the bike and then make your way through the gate. If you see this guard here, climb up the tower to hack the signal box. If this guard is not here, then the signal box will be on the ground level and you can hack it from here. Move the cameras until you get to the basement and then scope out the primary target and the value of each primary target goes as follows. Tequila is worth 900,000 on normal mode. Ruby necklace is worth $1 million on normal mode. Bearer bonds are worth $1.1 million. And finally, the pink diamond is worth $1.3 million. After scoping out the primary target, if you are above on the communications tower, jump off and die. Therefore, you will spawn back to the airstrip where you can complete the gather intel mission by going over to the plane. However, if you're not on top of the control tower, just simply get spotted by one of the guards and the same thing will happen. The next objective is the main docks. If you already have this part scoped out, then just skip to this time on screen. If not, then you will need to scope out the main docks in order to use as the entry point for the finale. After scoping out the primary target, exit the hacking app and then depending on if you're high up in the communications tower, jump off on the side of the ledge facing towards the main docks. You will have a parachute to eject, so just use that to guide you down towards the main docks. And once you're here, you want to avoid the guard's corner visions and just go straight over to this area.
taking a photo of this entrance and then sending it to Pavel. And finally, we have the drainage tunnel. The drainage tunnel will be used as the compound entry point, as well as allowing you to steal the cutting torch used to silently collect both the secondary target and primary targets. So this is very important. After scoping out the main dock, swim across to here and get in this boat. And now make your way around to this location on the map. Once here, jump out of the boat and then swim down towards the drainage entrance and you will unlock it. The approach vehicle that we will be using for the finale is the Longfin. It is by far the fastest approach vehicle and the Longfin is the only vehicle that will allow us to get to the airstrip and steal the loot. The setup for the Longfin is extremely easy. There will always be a police station that you have to go to in order to steal the boat. And once you get to the police station, if you own a Phantom Wedge, request it in via the interaction menu and drive it into the police station, reversing it into the trailer to steal the Longfin. However, most of you will in fact not have the Phantom Wedge, so instead just go to the truck cab location on the map and do the exact same thing. Now just drive it to this exact location on the map. Once you get here, drive the long fin through this part of the fence and then get out and using any explosives that you have, blow yourself up. This will lose your wanted level, allowing you to complete the mission. For the weapon loadout, we will be using the Aggressor. This comes with the Assault Shotgun and Machine Pistol, but either way, the loadout doesn't matter, as in the finale, you won't need to kill anyone except one guard. However, don't forget to purchase the Suppressors for $5,000. Now, when you start up the mission, if you receive the Meriwether HQ text at the bottom of your screen, go into the interaction menu, set your spawn point to your Kasaka, and then find a new session. There the reason we do this is because the mission is a huge waste of time. However, if you get any other mission that tells you to head to a building, then do exactly that. Always enter the building from the roof entrance. You can do this by using the Sparrow if you have one, or an Oppressor Mark II, again, if you have one. But most of you probably don't, so instead go into the See Your Interaction menu and then under See Your Vehicles, get the Buzzard for $25,000, a great alternative to get to the roof entrance of any of the buildings. Once inside use a suppressed weapon and shoot the guard through the door like I do then make your way through to these two guards and shoot them both quickly and then finally shoot the guard behind the desk doing this will avoid getting alerted and having to kill any other guards check the safe and then hack the laptop once you have hacked the laptop steal the weapons from inside of the safe and then escape the building via the roof option by pressing left on the d-pad if you don't do this you will go to the ground level and lose your vehicle on top of the roof making your life a lot harder now just get back to the sub and you're done at the beginning of the video we scoped out the drainage tunnel entrance this allowed us to get the cutting torch equipment this mission is extremely easy head on over to the construction site steal the hard hat and then collect the cutting torch from one of the many toolboxes and you're done. Another easy setup mission is the fingerprint cloner. First you will need to go to a warehouse and just head on over to it and then wait outside to equip the assault shotgun which I do recommend for this mission. Once inside just blast the two guards that are visible to you when you enter and then carefully shoot the other two guards hiding behind the box. Now just hack the computer and now go to the archive to steal the fingerprint cloner which will always be towards the back of the room on either of the three desks. And like that you're done. If you have tequila, ruby necklace, or pink diamond as your primary target, you will always receive the plasma cutter mission. Again, very easy to do. Just head to the safe house and once inside, just simply take a photo of this and it will count as a clue that you can send to Pavel. Then walk out of the safe house and head towards the bank. Once there, I recommend using explosives or heavy weapons like the RPG or homing launcher to take out the enemies and then just steal the plasma cutter. Those are the only set Setups that you have to complete and now it is time for the finale. With everything that I have gone over in this guide, these should be your options that you have before starting the heist. Now let's get into it. When you first load in with the long fin, you want to make a very sharp turn to the left, making sure to avoid these rocks. Then just take a direct route towards the airstrip by going this path. Once you get here, just drive the long fin up onto the shoreline, but don't go too far otherwise the boat will get stuck. 
If you drive the long fin onto the shore like I do, it will slowly go backwards into the water, further enough for you to easily get back into it later on. Now make your way along the airstrip towards the hangar, where we scoped out the secondary targets. Like I said, you won't have to kill anyone at this point, so just make your way behind this guard and then straight into the hangar. Once you get inside, do exactly what you did on the scope out mission, use the forklift to pick up the box, allowing you to get to the upper floor and steal this loot. Once you've climbed up into here, use the cutting torch to burn your way through and collect the secondary targets from inside. After that, jump down the same way that you got in and burn your way inside the next section where there will be more secondary targets waiting for you. Collect those as well. At this point, you should have a full loot bag for the elite challenge, so it's time to make your way out of the hangar. Wait for the guard to pass by so that you don't get into his corner vision and then, when it's safe to do so, exit the hangar and run back towards where you parked the long fin. Now, like mine, your long fin will have drifted out, but hopefully not too far, so just swim out to it and hop straight into it. Now we are going to head towards the drainage tunnel to enter the compound and steal our primary target. Once you get to the drainage tunnel, jump out of the boat and equip a rebreather by pressing left on the D-pad or G on PC. Then swim up towards the drainage tunnel and begin cutting open the grate. The easiest way to do this is by holding down the cutting torch button and making your way across the green lines one by one until you cut open the drainage grate. Then just swim up towards the entrance. Once inside the compound, you want to turn to the right up these stairs and make your way over to this wall and jump over it. Avoid all the guard's corner visions and just run down this path, turning onto this area and past the two guards until you get towards this main area and now you don't have to kill any of these guards. Just wait until this guard turns and then walk up behind him until he gets here behind this wall and then you can turn to the left and run straight behind this guard and run up the stairs. And when you get towards this guard, be careful, just don't stop running and you can very easily slip past him by just hugging the wall and turning up the corner without being detected by him at all. After that, go into El Rubio's office and make your way towards this safe over here, which can earn you an extra 50 to 100,000 to your final take without taking up any loot bag space. Now just hack the elevator door. To hack, it's fairly straightforward. You want to just select the top section of the hack for the first row, and then the rows after that, you only go by one from the previous hack, like so. For this, you will need to complete three fingerprint hacks, which only take around 30 to 50 seconds to do. Once you have completed them, make your way down towards the basement where you'll be stealing the primary target. Burn open the lock and then use the plasma cutter to break open the glass to steal the primary target. The way you can do this is by making sure that the heat goes all the way up until it gets to the red part and then drop it down again and repeat until the glass is opened and steal the primary target. Now just escape the basement by going back up the elevator into El Rubio's office and on your way out, once again, you can avoid all the guards. Just run behind this guard standing here and make your way past the other guard down below And once you get to this guard, make sure that he is still standing behind the wall and then make a run for it to the main gate following the path that I do. Once you're at the main gate, if a guard is there, just wait for him to pass and then make your exit. Now it's time to escape the island. This guard standing here is the only guard that you need to kill this entire heist. Just shoot him in the back of the head and then steal his bike. Now just follow my path and launch yourself off the island by wheeling off the edge of the cliff and into the water. Once in the water, equip a rebreather and swim far out until the text at the bottom of the screen disappears. And like that, you have successfully finished the heist in just 10 minutes with the Elite Challenge. That was the ultimate Kayaburiko heist guide. Drop a like on this video and subscribe for more. And as always, thanks for watching.